Okay. Cool. That was so submissive, Duran. You were like, okay, okay. Okay, okay, <laughs> just do that. <laughs> so now I got cameras. Alright, so our first game is going to be against, uh, is going to be Rev Dirk. Oh, it's Texas. Da, 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 da. By the way, uh, it is Texas A&M that has a timing issue, not McMaster. So we're gonna make that uh, clear. My bad. No, my bad. Oh, your bad. <laughs> You're so Jeez. submissive. You keep apologizing for things that you haven't done. Oh, eh. I'm a nice, I'm a nice person. That's why. Uh, by the way, your screen is black. That's great. All right, how about now? It is still black. Interesting. Now it is not black. <laughs> if you want, you can play the awesome CSL playoff teaser video. Actually, we will do that, but Duran, this time you cannot speak. Oh, right. All right, ready? Take a look at this awesome teaser video made for us by JW, Josh Watson. And what did you think of that intro? Are you hyped? Wow. I, I'm so hyped. It's crazy. You don't even know how hyped I am. I don't even know what to do right now. I'm so hyped. I'm just apologizing for everything. <laughs> That's right. I, I never apologize. That's how hyped I am that I'm apologizing right now. Anyways. So, we are just waiting for the Texas A&M player. So, I think we should cast Wanna Be Cool versus Monk. Oh, do you want to? Yeah, we'll cast it for fun. Alright, let's do it. Are they still around? Yeah. Alright, so, because we are waiting from Texas A&M, we are going to cast the fourth set of Waterloo versus, holy shit, so many um. Hey, Zeris, can you make sure that you set your own status to not busy so that people can let us know that the stream is yeah. showing black or something? A show. All right, switch back to the screen. All right. Go, go, go. Should be able to see the screen now. We are now in StarCraft 2, Wings of Liberty. Let's try to say that in a Korean voice. Go, Duran, right. go. I'm going to do some bomb-ass shout-outs <laughs> this game. I don't know. <laughs> shout-outs or uh, name well, whatever, calls? Whatever that, right. whatever that thing is called. That's what I thought. All right, we're going to see an awesome game between Wanna Be Cool and Monk. Just for fun. Killing time for Texas A&M. So, so mannered. All right. Any day now. <laughs> I'm just getting ready. Like, I'm trying to organize my it's thoughts. Because and we have 5,000 observers in this game. That's why it's taking so long. You should probably kick them retrospectively. Okay. So, at the 12 o'clock position of Shattered Temple, we have the Purple Zerg representing Waterloo... Monk. 
And at the six o'clock position, we have the yellow Protoss representing University of Illinois Urbana. Wanna be cool? <laughs> that was pretty good. Pretty good. So good. So good. All right. This is a cross map on Shatter Temple, which is the new version, the new slash better version of Lost Temple. Going to be a PVZ. Uh, if you're just tuning in, Waterloo has actually won the match already. This is the fourth set. We're just casting this for fun because we're waiting for Texas A&M to stop being whatever. They're probably eating like barbecue or something right now, getting pumped up for the match. <laughs> it is actually only 9 o'clock over there. Something around that. Oh. So maybe they're, uh, I have no idea. What do you do at 9 o'clock? Do you eat barbecue? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I'll find out because I will be at MLG Dallas in about two weeks. So if anybody is, uh, uh, if anyone's going to be there, say hi to me. Because no, don't. I'm going to be very lonely and sad. Don't say hi to Duran. He bites, oh. and then he apologizes. Oh, actually, if you didn't see that, uh, Wannabe Cool's Pro, it was being shift way pointed, and he drew a little heart, actually, and little green arrows. That's quite cute. Invisible BM, or good manner. Yeah, so GM. So GM. So we're actually getting a Forge Fast expand from Wannabe Cool. It's going to work out from... Oh, he's actually putting a proxy pylon as well. Oh, actually, he's going to put cannons. I thought he was just going to block the hatchery, but it looks like he's going to put a few cannons in there. Oh, that is indeed what it looks like. Indeed. And here comes the first cannon. This is the uh, this is the famous Wante Lee new brush. This guy <laughs> is a cheesy-ass mofo. I've known him for quite a long time, actually. He was a cheesy Terran player in Brudor, and now he is a cheesy Protoss player in StarCraft 2. So we see that there are lots of cannons going down. Drones are coming up. Taken out. One cannon does finish, though. One drone gets taken out. A second drone is going to get taken out. The first cannon goes down. Lots of Zerglings are now out, though. So it looks like this cannon rush is going to be thwarted. Definitely, and he's actually not gotten the chance to expand or even put up a gateway or his own defensive cannons because he spent so many minerals, 450, up there uh, with that cannon rush. <laughs> Too bad no one can hear us. <laughs> actually, the Zergling Speed being researched by Monk now. Yep, and... Now, Wannabe Cool is doing the smart thing, and he's setting up two cannons. He's making a gateway, so he's probably going to be gearing up for a fast expansion. And again, the purpose of this strategy is basically to just delay Zerg's expansion while you build your own expansion. So if we take a look, actually, he's so ahead in Harvesters. Do you see that? 13 drones to 22 probes. That's huge. Wow. Mm -hmm. And we can see that the queen is still not up yet from Monk. Uh, the Queen just finishes. Monk is going for an expansion. Well, however, Wannabe Cool has started his Nexus earlier, so again, he basically accomplished everything he wanted to with that Cannon Rush. Again, like the, the purpose of that Cannon Rush isn't necessarily to win the game, but it is mostly just to delay your ex opponent's expansion while you make yours. Obviously, if you do win the game from it, then, you know, more power to you, but you know. I know. You know. We all know. And we all scream for ice cream. That is very true. Alright, actually, uh, Monk is the University of Waterloo coordinator, if you guys did not know. And he recently won a CSL map test tournament and won an avatar on our forums. Because <laughs> oh. that's the type of prize that we give out. Stargate going up for Wanna Be Cool, actually. I'm wondering if he's going to go for a Phoenix build, or maybe even Void Rays. It's actually kind of in plain sight. If a single Zergling gets anywhere near that, he's going to know that there is a Stargate out. Uh, if we look at Monk, uh, if we look at his vision, he hasn't scouted. So he is a little, he's going to be a little bit in the dark.
So our caster is preoccupied with defending his own sexuality. <laughs> GG. Oh, I got right, owned. So the, s <laughs> the Stargate is nearly done. For oh, okay, the Stargate just finishes. However, wa uh, Monk is sending his Overlord to scout, so he is going to be able to see the Stargate just now. He does see it, and the Void Ray is being researched, so Monk is going to be able to have adequate preparation for this attack, hopefully. Yeah, definitely. Alright, so actually, to those people who are tuning in right now, by the way, this is only set 4 of Waterloo versus Illinois, and set 4 is just a 4 fun show match. Some uh, good right. manner show we matching. We are waiting for the University of... We're waiting for Texas A&M University. By the way, have we gotten any word from them yet? We haven't gotten any word from them, no. We are not. We're just, we're just chilling. Alright. So actually, we're going to see Phoenix is coming out of the Stargate. Um, he's probably going to wait until he gets around 4. I believe 4 is the magic number. And then go overlord hunting and even queen hunting if he wants. Drone hunting. He can hunt anything because a lot of Zerg units just don't shoot up. So much hunting. Um, I might have to disagree with you on this. Oh, there's uh, a void ray. There we go. Yeah. So basically, the the idea behind this, but I mean, it doesn't look like he's doing it. But usually, what players like to do is get two phoenixes and a void ray. But again, uh, Wannabe Cool's timing is kind of messed up for that, so I don't think he is going to do that. And actually, if you see, he's kind of uh, ditching the Stargate production. But what people, uh, oh, he's actually making five gateways right now, so he's just switching to ground army while Monk is transitioning to Hydras. But basically, what the Protoss likes to do is get a Void Ray and two Phoenixes, and they're going to use that to kill all the Queens and Overlords of their opponent. It's a really, really devastating, uh, powerful early game build. However, it really relies on uh, there being close positions between you and your opponent. On cross maps like this, uh, it's really not going to work, especially if your opponent scouts what you're doing, because they're going to have a lot of time to prepare before your Void Ray can get all the way across the map. Actually, I really like what he's done so far. He's uh, used that Void Ray, taken down the Zergling at the Zelnaga, taken down any Overlords in the surrounding area, and then uh, sent a Stalker after the remaining Overlord, forcing it to the bottom right. So actually, Monk can't see a lot. Now he has his Zergling at the Zelnaga, he is able to see again. But for a moment there, he did have some sort of map control. Right, and there are still two Overlords on the map waiting to be killed by want to be cool if he so desires if he wants to be active with his phoenixes which i definitely think he should be want to be cool is setting up to take a third expansion right now which is definitely what you want to do in this position uh, he's actually making a, an observer and a, a warp prism so i'm kind of interested to see what his plans are with the warp prism Huge push, it looks like, is coming in from Monk. Bunch of Zerglings, bunch of Hydras. Unfortunately, they are off creep. Oh, Overlord is actually out. I wonder if these have drop research. They do. We are going to see... Uh, what is yep, this called? It's a huge... This is, this is what we call... Doom a drop. Although in StarCraft II, with the existence of the Nidus Worm, there is... Less, oh my god, he's actually scouting this with the Overlords. He sees exactly what's going on. So we're going to have to see if he responds to it. And he is responding to it, but it's a little bit slow, so he's going to be in quite a bit of trouble. Monk is actually going to be able to drop creep too, so his hydralisks are going to be incredibly effective. Although, this drop is not being effective because Monk has decided to not actually unload his units. Wow, so he uh, kind of loaded them back up for some reason. I think there must have been a misclick. Or maybe he thought that those Zerglings were Banelings for whatever reason. All his overlords get taken out, all his units as well. I mean, he has a couple of units left north of that base, but not nearly enough. He has like four Hydras, eight, seven, seven Hydras. Um, Alright, so this is not looking good for Monk, and this is looking pretty darn good for Wannabe Cool. Really what he needs to do is counter and take his third right now. That would basically seal him the game. And he is taking the third, and he is looking to go for the counter. So this is basically exactly what he needs to do. And Monk is supply blocked so badly, he can't produce any units for a while. And this could be GG in just a moment if Wannabe Cool does the right thing. Especially if Monk's uh, units are still in <laughs> still in that Overlord. That Overlord is going to get picked off. Eight Zerglings in there. Hydra's 
out of position right now, trying to take down a rock when it should be defending. We're going to see an encounter right now. Monk doesn't want to encounter.